Hey, yeah. morning, good evening, or good night, depending on what time you're watching this. Hey, Snaphan, here in the time for the newest video. What is up, Self Squad? How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, this is actually going to be a completely diff different video compared to what I usually do. This is actually about tower placement. Now, I know a lot of people are like transferring to new states. They're making new accounts for the fun of it. They're making new alliances. It's it's just something which people do on the side while they're playing their main still. Now, one of the very, very important things to focus on is your tower placement. You really want to be able to get those ACs. You're wanting to be able to connect. And uh, I thought what I'd do is I'd show you some of the pl placements which I have done so far. So obviously, first thing I do is I check where all the ACs are. Now, as you can see on this map, you've got the three center ones, which are all level ones, with the gathering one just to the right, which is also a level one. So you've got all four level ones. And you've got all three level twos. And this is right in the corner of the map where no one's really going to disturb you. They're so close together. This is like one of the perfect places to be able to connect to the ACs. And seeing as I, I placed the HQ literally dead center of uh, the three level one ACs. So I'd be able to connect with, with them so easily. Now I'm actually going to show you what our one now looks like. It's only been two days. So you got to remember, this has not been around for a long time. We've, it's only been two days of placing. So if you look at this, I will give you the chords of the, these locations. This is where I actually place the HQ. So as I said, here's the chords, if you are wanting to take it. And I will tell you why I place it in this specific spot. So it's 192.303. Now, if you look at this, you've literally got the food in the left corner. You've got a metal in the north corner. You've got a wood in the south corner. So I've got all three of the uh, resource nodes already covered with an extra food over here. So I've actually got four nodes all in corners away from the HQ with plenty of space. And then if I put one directly to the south, I've, put, I've made a little square here where the trap and the Colosseum are going to go, and we've got plenty of space to sit around. Of course, this is only going to be a temporary spot until we actually go to the planes. But during the meantime, this is like a perfect location for HQ just to sit here for a couple of weeks. We still haven't finished doing the whole trap placement on where people were sitting. That's why all this is empty. It's only been two days, mind you. Now, if you look at this, within them two days, We've branched off up to the northwest to connect to that level one AC. We've branched down to the east, which is connected to this level one AC. And we've also connected over here to this level one AC to the southwest. And now we're building south down because we're going to connect to this level one AC. And then we've got all three of the level one ACs. And we've still got another five days till they open. After that, we're going to branch off to the other two, uh, the three level twos, and then it's going to be simply just waiting for them to uh, open up. So as I said, if you are wanting to uh, take this location, uh, it's a great location to have for a beginning alliance, which is just starting up. 192.303. I'll, I'll bring up the picture again. As you can see, I've already connected to all three of them level ones around us. We're going down to the resource one on the bottom left, which is the least important one. Uh, and then I'm going to be going for the three level twos just on the outside. Nice and easy, great location to actually create your hive. Now, some people obviously um, are thinking, what about when the planes open? Now, this... That, that's great because obviously I'm about to show you another one which I have created uh, for when the planes open. And this location was perfect for us. So much space. Uh, we're now collect connected to two of every level two, no, every level three, every level four AC. We're also connected to uh, every single level two and every single level one, just like this one. And uh, we've got a baby alliance, which is connected to each one of them as well. So 
if I go up here, this is the HQ. It is 499557. Don't forget, the locations are the exact same every single time you place them. So this has got one gas, which is just to the left of it, um, which obviously you need, and a gas to the bottom right here. Now, when you're going to the planes, it starts taking gas to be able to build. So this is where you start bringing in the gas. And it connects exactly onto the corner here where we get our trap here with the towers around it. And you have three uh, settlements all the way around, which just fit perfectly. There's only one farm here uh, which gets in your way. So you only miss out on one placement. Now, if I scroll out, you'll be able to see this actually fits pretty much perfectly all the way around. There's a the little farm one which goes around here. And then uh, I've got the towers just after the three. So the amount of people which can actually fit around this is perfect. I placed the tower at the bottom to get the edge. And then I started building around it. Now, the reason why I like this location so much is because it's also really easy to connect to the ACs here. As you can see, there are two ACs literally just next to it. You've got the level four here, level three here, level three here. And if you go just south there, there's another level three. And just here, east here, there's another level four. And that is you connect it to all the level fours and all the level threes with using very minimal towers and having two great locations to actually build. Obviously, you may be looking at it and thinking you've got an alliance literally just blocking off all below you. They're actually my all alliances. So we, we control both of these two alliances. And we use their tower placements to be able to connect to all the level uh, four and three ACs, which we are connected to. Um, and we can reset them whenever we like. Now, I'm going to show you one last thing which you can do with towers. Now, this, is a, this gets a little bit complicated when you're doing this, but if you look here, do you see that I've actually got towers inside the tip alliance? Now, you can do this. Now, there's a little trick to it. What you do is you control the, if whoever controls the area can place towers inside that area and remove their tower. So then they can build a tower inside their area, which will stay connected as long as they're within three squares of each other. One, they're, they're only two squares, but they can actually be three squares apart. So they can have an extra square apart if they wanted to. And then when you remove the tower, the towers which are close by, which in this instance was tip, took control of that area. But we still have ours connected, which makes us be able to jump over. Now, we've used this uh, trick a couple of times. We usually use it if, say, for instance, this example was because UA1 wanted to be able to pass through um, our towers. So we actually started building inside our territory and removing our towers as we went along so that they could pro uh, progress through your towers. It's a nice way so that people can't say, but we're losing our location because you're actually uh, both sharing that location and it can give you both access to ACs and be able to pr uh, pass through alliances without actually being able to pour in them as well. So for instance, as you can see, I can't actually pour into this area because it is now owned by them. So we're not infringing on their location. You can pick them up and just replace them, uh, but make sure you place them first, of course. But yeah, that is two fantastic locations for you to be able to put your hives. As I said, just look at uh, look at the code, the coordinates there. You can use that, of course. I'm happy with that, and you'll be able to um, place perfect hives. These are these are two of my favorite uh, setups I've got. The wastelands, which I just showed you. And of course, this one into the planes. I don't actually move any further past this, but uh, that's because I feel like I get plenty of resources where I am now. Uh, and we've never had an issue with gathering resources. Okay, guys, I hope this little uh, tower and location setup helps. Uh, maybe you'll be you use it in the future. Maybe you won't. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.
Much love to you. And guess what? I shall see you guys next time. Have a good night, guys. Uh, peace.